we have got just a great set of APIs and a really powerful set of tools. Now, this has been out for uh, you know, about three months, and there are thousands of developers out there using it. And so we asked them, what do they think about uh, the SDK so far? And the responses were unbelievably positive. So let me go ahead and read you some of their quotes. This one comes from Jonathan Backer at Walt Disney. He said, after working with hundreds of other mobile devices, developing for the iPhone is a breath of fresh air. The hardware is stable and full featured, while the software development tools are intuitive and represent a level of polish rarely seen in the mobile arena. Next, I have coded fairly extensively with Symbian, Windows Mobile, and BlackBerry iPhone just blows them away, making me wonder who decided that mobile development had to be difficult. From Tom Yeager at InfoWorld. The next, we really like the Xcode development environment. It blows away everything we've worked with from RIM. Elias Slater, director of mobile product development at Fox Interactive Media. And David Pogue of the New York Times has a really nice way of summing it all up. He writes, you're witnessing the birth of a third major computer platform, Windows, Mac OS X, iPhone. So we couldn't agree more. We think we have just a fantastic platform here for people to build incredible applications. And there have been thousands of people in the last few months, even on our beta, already building applications. And we've started to see some of these. And we were really amazed with the quality of these applications. And so we decided to invite a number of these developers up here today to show you what they've created. The first developer I'd like to invite up is one that was with us back when we launched the beta in March. And it's Sega. In March, Sega blew us away with what they had accomplished in just two weeks, bringing up the first cut of Super Monkey Ball. What they have done in the few months since then to polish it and get it ready for market is absolutely astounding. And to walk you through their experiences with the SDK, I'd like to invite up Ethan Einhorn. Ethan? Thanks, Scott. Joining us on stage today is fellow Sega producer Josh Morton to drive. So back when we showed you Super Monkey Ball on the iPhone for the first time last March, our development team, Other Ocean, were able to create four stages from scratch in just two weeks of development time. Eight weeks after that event, they were able to give us 110 stages for the finished game, which is a tremendous amount of content for a handheld game. They were also able to give us all four of the classic monkeys. So we have Ai Ai, Mimi, Baby, and Gon Gon. <laughs> Today we're gonna play as Baby. There are five distinct worlds to play in, and last time we showed you the first world, Monkey Island. This time, we're showing you the last world, Space Case. And the reason I want to show you that is because it's a terrific opportunity to demonstrate just how well the tilt control can keep up with the game's most intricate challenges. As you can see, this is a pretty tricky stage that Josh is trying to get through. And to be able to do it, he has to be able to accelerate, decelerate, and turn with pinpoint precision. The iPhone's accelerometers gives him the ability to do that. <laughs> so as a producer, the best part of working on this game has been to put the game in people's hands for the first time who've never played it, because it's just instantly fun. The tilt control works beautifully. It's a fantastic gaming experience. For Sega, the App Store represents an amazing opportunity because we can now be in the same place where people are buying their music and movies, and they can take all that content with them wherever they go. 
We love what we've been able to do with Super Monkey Ball. We can't wait to see what's possible with our other marquee characters. And this game is going to be available at the launch of the App Store for $9.99. Awesome, thanks. Productivity deteriorates. Uh, <laughs> I know that all of my QA folks love the game. Next up is eBay. eBay is the largest online marketplace in the world with approximately 84 million active users. And to walk you through their experience, building a native application for the iPhone, I'd like to invite up Ken Sun. Ken? Thanks, Scott. We also have my colleague, Alan Lewis, who's going to be driving today. And we're here to show you auctions on the iPhone. So the iPhone has quickly become the number one mobile device for accessing eBay. And while the Safari experience is great, we want to bring the best possible mobile experience to our customers. So five weeks ago, we decided to create this application. And the ease of developing with the iPhone SDK allows us to rapidly integrate with eBay's web services. So you can see here we're on the home screen. You've got easy access to search. We show the user's personal avatar and a summary of their activity. Whether you're a buyer or a seller, you can easily see if you're winning or losing and how much you've been selling. So let's search for the new Wii Fit, one of the hottest selling items on eBay, and add it to our watch list. These are all live listings you're going to see running on eBay's production servers. You just touch on an item to bring up the details. You can see the picture, all the bid amounts, and everything like that. If the buyer wants to see more information, we've also integrated WebKit into the application so they can view the seller's HTML description. Going back, it's just one easy touch to add this to our watch list. And if we go back to the home screen, let it refresh, we now see we're watching one additional item but we've also been outbid on something. Just touch there, and it'll pop us over to my eBay where we can get more details. Here are the red and green bid amounts. Let us see what we're winning or losing. Let's try to win that item that we're currently losing by placing a higher bid. Bidding's really easy. Just enter in your bid amount, confirm it, and the bid is instantly placed on our system. The confirmation screen slides in, and hey, it looks like we're back in the lead. Finally. I'd like to take a look at one last item on my watch list. It's a $12.5 million home and golf course in Mexico. <laughs> Let's take a look at the photos to see if it's really worth it. So here, the film strip viewer allows us to see all of the photos. We can scroll through them. We can zoom in and out using the standard touch controls to see more details. Looks pretty nice, but I don't think I'm going to place a bid on it. <laughs> That's it for our demo. It's been a great experience developing for the iPhone. The eBay app will be available for free when the App Store launches. Thank you, and happy bidding. Thanks, Ken. Next is Looped. When we added core location to the iPhone SDK, we couldn't wait to see what sorts of location-based applications it would enable. Well, if you take location and add to it a social network, you've got something really interesting. You've got Looped. And to talk about that, I'd like to invite up Sam Altman. Sam? Thanks, Scott. We are incredibly psyched about Looped on the iPhone. Looped is about connecting with people on the go, which is, after all, the main reason you have a phone. We show you where people are, what they're doing, and what cool places are around you.